Hey Obsessors, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a product review and demo for you guys. I'm so excited to be showing you guys this product. And today we're going to be talking about the new Jaclyn Hill and Becca collaboration palette. This has been such, like, it's been so advertised and just magnetized on the internet and in the makeup community if you have not heard about this palette you have been living under a rock i'm very in tune with social media and instagram and all the stuff that's coming out that's how i get all my hottest stuff all the release dates and all that types of situations um i learned about this through trend mood um i talked about trend mood on my channel multiple times i'm not affiliated with her or anything i just love her page because she keeps me up to date with all the stuff that's coming out so this palette right here is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration palette. She came out with a line with Becca and she released a complete collaboration and collection of things um, revolving around Champagne Pop. So this collection has not been released yet. Um, it will be released on May 26th and it'll be available in all Sephora. I'm not sure about Ulta, um, but it will be available at Sephora on May 26th and it will be um, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, I got this palette because Jacqueline had her release party with Becca Tuesday in New York. And somehow, she got Becca to release the product early in limited quantity. So, she basically was with the creator of Becca at her party. And she asked him, like, hey, you know, since we're releasing it, I want to just let out a few of these products and let some of, you know, my fans get to them early. I was one of the fans to get them early, honey. So, Trim Mood, of course, said something about it on her Instagram. And I followed Jacqueline on Snapchat. And she announced that it will be live. It was only available on the app. It sold out in an hour. And I was one of them, honey. I talked about it on Snapchat. And she gave me a heart attack when she did this. Like, I almost had a heart attack. Because I was prepared to get the product on my 26th. I wasn't ready for that pop-up. But I'm always lurking. I see everything. So she released it and I was lucky enough to get one. This face palette retails for $52. It is limited edition. So once it's out and it's gone, I don't know if it's going to be coming back. So once it's out, if you're interested in this product, you better get your hands on it immediately. It is really, really, really hot commodity right now. Um, including the face palette, there will also be an eyeshadow palette, which is limited edition. It will retail for $40. It will be a liquid form of champagne pop, so like a liquid illuminator, kind of like Topaz and the other colors Becca have. That will be um, out, and it will be $41, and that is not limited edition. It will be permanent. She'll also have a cream base of champagne pop for $38, which is permanent, and then of course she has champagne pop, which is $38. Now, I do have champagne pop. I don't use it as much, but I really do love the concept and the color, and I love um, Becca's highlighters, like the texture, the way it looks on the skin. It looks very skin-like. I really like Becca. So, this is the packaging. Um, I have not opened this box. I'm opening this box with you guys today. So, this is the packaging. It's super cute. It kind of reminds me of the old champagne box, but it's not as bronzy it's more gold because her new highlight is more of a gold base so this is the back of the packaging of course it has Jaclyn Hill with her cute self um it just gives you a note about what the product is for and how to use it this is a foreign language and then these are the colors that you get in the palette so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so we can get into swatching and all that good stuff It's packaged very well. And this is it. Oh, and it also comes with a backlight priming filter sample. So if you guys never tried that, which I haven't, um, there's a sample that comes in here. And you guys, this is the palette. It is so glamorous and gorgeous. And it's very Jacqueline. I just feel like Jacqueline is very chic and classy and I really like this packaging. So I'm gonna take the pill off, say a little prayer because I'm a little clumsy with makeup sometimes. So this is the packaging. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I'll go ahead and just tell you guys what's in this palette. It comes with um, a luminous blush. It's called Rose Spritz. A mineral blush that's called Amaretto. Another mineral blush that's called, I'm going to say it's called Pompo Mousse. I'm not sure how it's pronounced it, how I pronounced it, but I think it's 
pompal mousse and i'm going to put all the names at the bottom and it comes with champagne pop and it comes with her new highlighter which she calls champagne's little sister and it's called prosecco pop and they're all shimmery skin perfector and they're all pressed so um first thing about this palette is i'm very very intrigued with the packaging i love the packaging it's so cute this is super heavy but at the same time it has like a dense feel it's very very sleek and it's very very worthy to be displayed i will have to display this i cannot put this in my drawer and um oh god y'all just opened it i just opened it oh my god okay so let me get out what i'm gonna say before i show y'all so i i was a little bit disappointed with the palette because it comes with champagne pop which i already have for 38 dollars so i was kind of bummed about that but what i will say is that um this palette retails for 52 dollars like i said um champagne pop is 38 dollars and um I'm looking at the pan, it's about the same size as a regular Becca highlighter. Um, so you're already getting $38 worth in the palette again, and then you're getting another one for $38, and then you get three blushes. Now, for the blushes, I have one Becca blush and it's $34. It's not the same as it is in this pan, it's not the same size, but it's $34. So I'm getting three blushes and two full pairs of highlighters for $52. So I just want to start by saying I do think this palette is worth the $52. So as you open the palette up, here she is. You have this huge mirror, and then you've got the product. So this is the actual palette. So starting from um, the far, what is this, my left, probably your guys' is right. Um, okay. This is Rose Spritz, and she describes this as a blush topper. It has another mineral blush, and this is called Amaretto. It's very warm tone. I love these types of blushes, and I really think that I can use this as a bronzer, and that's what I'm going to try to use it for today. And then she has another mineral blush, and this is called Pompo Mousse. And, um, of course, she has Champagne Pop in here, and then she has the new um highlighter and it is called prosecco pop so first off, i just want to say that i was very excited about this palette simply because it has everything that i like in here it has a warm bronzy blush it has a coral matte blush it has a shimmery coral blush which can be a blush topper or even a highlight if you want to take it there which i would definitely take it there it has champagne pop in here and then it has Prosecco pop, which is more of a gold tone highlight, which is what I am all about. I love gold highlighting colors, which really made me just gravitate towards this palette because I just love Jaclyn Hill and I love her so much. So I had to try this out. Um, like I said, I don't go to Champagne Pop as much because it's more of a different tone than what I like from my highlighters, but it is a gorgeous color. So I'm going to do some um, size comparisons for you guys. So this is the original Champagne Pop by Becca. This is the size of the pan. Um, it does have some loving in here. I do use it. Um, so this is Champagne Pop. And then this is Champagne Pop in the palette. So it's not a big difference here. And I can tell you right now that this is not fully, fully like a deep pan this is a pressed powder so it's going to be pretty much pressed like it is on this actual palette so these are pretty much the same in size you're not really missing out on a lot which is why the 52 dollars is an excellent deal because this is 38 you're getting two highlighters and three blushes like yeah so the next one i have is i have a becca blush this becca blush is in the shade luminous um it's a luminous blush it's in the shade blush copper and this is the size of the blush this blush is 34 dollars you're getting three of these in the jaclyn hill palette so the blushes is not the same as the one in the pan same as with champagne pop but you're getting three you're not going to hit pan on all three of these you're not going to hit pan on the two highlighters i'm not going to hit pan on these two alone so it's a really 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 good deal so let's just get that out the way y'all know i'm not gonna bullshit y'all i'm gonna tell y'all what's up and how to spend your coins right this is a good investment you should just get this if you don't have champagne pop just wait 
to get the palette. That's how I look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a demo for you guys. As you can see, I look like a fucking potato. I don't have any highlighter on, which is killing me. No bronzer, no blush, and I'm going to do it all with this Jaclyn Hill palette. So let's go ahead and get into the demo. Okay, you guys, so first things first, I have to bronze this face, honey, because it is round and we not having it. So I'm going to start with my favorite bronzing brush at the minute, and it is the Angle Dual Fiber Brush by Sonya Kashik, the Knockout Collection. I do have a full video on these brushes, and it will be in the description box below. And I'm going to try to bronze with the color Amaretto. So I'm just going to dip my brush in here. And this is my first time using the product, so this is going to be a first impressions also. So I'm just going to dip my brush in here, and I got some product on here, and I'm going to begin to try to bronze with this. It does have a light sheen to it, which is absolutely fine with me. I love sheen in my bronzers. So this is the carved out cheek. Clearly you can see the difference. Um, the product slides on so smooth. It's super buttery. It's just blending in with the other products that I applied earlier prior to this video like my makeup my powder it looks so good and like dimensional I love these types of colors to um, bronze with I'm more of a warm tone red brick terracotta type of person um, you guys notice that in a lot of my bronzers so I really do like this blush yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze the rest of my face okay so i'm pretty much all bronzed up oh y'all it is so gorgeous i love okay let's go ahead and get it to the blush so i'm going to i'm going to use the blush right here in pompo mousse i'm going to take this on of sonia kashik brush i love this brush for blushing super pigmented it's super pigmented so that's the blush the blush and the bronzer or the blush and the other blush combinated together um ooh, y'all yes so i'm gonna take a little bit of that mineralized blush again and i'm a red and i'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose And then I'm going to highlight with her highlighter. So I'm just going to do a comparison for you guys. So I'm going to do one cheekbone um, with Champagne Pop and then the other side with Prosecco Pop. So right now I'm dipping into Champagne Pop. I like to use this fan brush by Sigma for these Champagne, um, for these Becca Illuminators because they just go on more like skin-like with this. I feel like it's too harsh with another brush. So I'm going to apply Champagne Pop. Woo! 
honey i'm getting some real like reminiscent good highlighting times with this highlighter right here like wow so i'm going to flip this brush over and i'm going to dip it into um prosecco pop her new highlighter that she collaborated with becca and i'm gonna apply it to my face y'all Whoa, we it's so hold on y'all it's so like gold and just metallic looking almost let me fix y'all up a little bit so we can get out that light this is prosecco pop and y'all <laughs> do y'all see how much i look like a this oh god oh god let me do my nose let me get my life real quick cupid's bow god do the cupid's bow oh we okay so i'm gonna take some of this and put it in my inner corner I'm going to take Prosecco Pop. So this is the completed look with the Becca Champagne Pop face palette. So this side is Prosecco Pop. And this side is Champagne Pop. yes yes y'all i don't have to tell y'all to go get this you you just look at this packaging look at the inside look at this demo again this review again i gave you guys the whole rundown from pricing packaging sizing getting more bang for your buck getting more you know product for your coin and making money makes sense when you buy all this makeup so you guys do what you need to do stay up don't sleep wake up early do what you need to do and get this palette like Woo. yes so that is it for this review and demo i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like these types of videos let me know in the comments below i will keep doing them once again i will have the sonia kashik brush review link below i will have all the information that i talked about this palette as far as pricing and release dates in the description box this hair is the dominican curly by outre i will have that video link below because your girl already reviewed this piece honey yes i'm about to go out and do something and show off this beat and i'll see you all in my next one